blessings to you. How's everyone's week going so far? Well, I'm so glad you're here with me uh, to join me as I get into some prophetic declarations and confessions. The Word of God is living and active, so it's so important that we speak it over our lives. And as I told you before, with any word that you receive from anyone, um, bring it before the Lord if it's for you uh, to affirm and confirm, and then receive it in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I come humbly before your throne as I intercede on behalf of my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for the things that you have been revealing to me, Lord. I speak life into your children, Lord. There is someone who is going through a situation where someone is making it difficult for you to access things deliberately, whether it's at work, or at church. It's as if you're at a buffet, but you are not given serving utensils to pick up the food. There is no silverware in sight, and the cook knows what you need, but instead is sitting back just observing to see what you're going to do. James 1 4 reads, But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing. God is going to act on your behalf. Just wait patiently on him. Look to the authority of God. Lay all your offenses and burdens at his feet. God is going to fight your battles for you. You don't have to be hurt any longer. A blessing is coming your way. Those that are in observance hoping for your downfall are about to see the anointing on your life. Psalms 23, 5, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Colossians 3, 12, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. There is also someone who is taking care of a little baby. And I see you out in the cold, putting a hat on the baby's head. I'm not sure who you are, but the Lord sees you and he cares for you and what you are needing. And I'm praying for you. 2 Corinthians 9, 8, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. The Lord is going to supply you with all your needs. Do not worry about tomorrow. God is with you every day every hour, every moment. You are in his constant care and he won't let you out of his sight. Stand under his umbrella of protection during your storm. Hold on to him. You already have plenty. You will not lack. Abundance is your portion in Jesus name. I see someone bought a new house when you were parked outside of the garage sitting in your car, someone that you knew ran into the back of you on purpose, causing you to destroy your new garage. It's as if your family or friends does not want you to succeed. I break any discord that is going on in your home, any anger. That spirit of chaos and confusion cannot stay and is being driven out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak life over your family. I speak against anything the enemy is doing to cause division. That stops right now. Thank you, Lord. The scripture that I have for you comes from John 15, 14 through 15. You are my friends. If you do whatever I command you, no longer do I call you servants, 
for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my father, I made known to you. You will succeed and you already have with much the Lord has asked of you. Continue to seek God's direction and follow his promptings. God has chosen you and given you a special assignment. The Lord is going to lead you and guide you, giving you the strength that you need to press on. You will accomplish God's will for your life and he will be right there with you providing you with the resources to get the job done. God is fully committed to helping you be all that you were created to be. And you will find what you need in him. 1 Peter 2.9 But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The Lord is giving you rest right now. You are the light in this world of darkness and people recognize it. As you begin to rest in God's presence, you will see his characteristics in you. You have God's peace, His love, His holiness. I thank you for caring about each and every single one of us, Lord. I thank you that we all still have purpose that you have designed for us. I pray that you would be with anyone whom a word is for and receives it, Lord. Where there is a breakthrough needing to take place, I ask that you would make a way, Lord, and meet all the people's needs who need it, Lord. I plead and seal these declarations with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' precious holy name I pray, amen. Well, God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Most of all, God loves you. Bye.